three minutes to go. Yeah, three minutes until uh, state of play, guys. Thanks what do you think for joining us. Reveal? Say that again. What do you think they're going to reveal? Oh, I have no idea. Do you know, I haven't really been following um, much of the latest PlayStation news, but I'm just hoping for like a God of War reveal. Um, <gasps> that would be so good. Like an official, um, maybe a launch date. Maybe a, an update for Final Fantasy Remake Part 2. That would be amazing. Cause it's too early for that. We, we've been waiting for this for quite a while now. So. Do you know what I heard today? Hmm. That, um, is it Naughty Dog that did Last of Us? Yeah. The script has been written. But oh, for The Last of Us 3? For The Last of Us 3. Last of Us 3, guys. No. But it <laughs> no, doesn't I, say I, that they started working on the gameplay. They haven't worked on the gameplay, but the script has been written. It's It was um, in a statement. Then, you know what? They The way that, um, how the last, how popular The Last of Us is, they have to make it. Because if, the script, if the script is written, then it's just inevitable that they're going to make it. I heard that they're making a remake of the first one, mm. which would be good because although it's, it's a PS3 game and it had a remaster, it would be nice to see it in the new new engine and just mm. to see the, the graphics updated with haptic feedback and mm. stuff like that. If they can do it with Demon Souls, they can do it with The Last of Us. You know what? I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't turn down more Last of Us, to be honest. I wouldn't. I've heard so much hype about it. I didn't even know what it was until last year. And it's I like, whoa. I still want them to patch The Last of Us 2. That would be mm. that would be epic if they patched The Last of Us 2 just to be 4K 60 frames with you know improved lighting mm. and effects, things like that. Because although it, look, it looks great for a PS4 game, it, it would be good to have a PS5 version. One and a half minutes and we'll, we'll see what they're announcing. You know what? These state of play shows, I've only recalled about one or two that have been really good. Normally they've been disappointing with like, not bad games, but just smaller games that nobody really asked for. Kind of like a lot yeah. of in indie titles, they just cram it with indie titles. And I think the, the last one that they did, uh, sorry, not the last one, the one in D November just before PlayStation 5 launched, that was a good one because they threw titles out that we weren't expecting. Yeah. They'll probably just show more of what we already know about, mm. I think. More release dates and more detail. But we already know that Ratchet and Clank's coming out, uh, DLC for um, Intergrade, like, uh, Fan Fantasy or Intermission. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm hoping there'll be some good surprises because it's about time because there haven't really been many um, exclusive... You know how PlayStation like to do... They like to go big with their titles. I know, but what you've got to remember, there has been a pandemic last year, so... Yeah, that's the problem. It has put a setback on everyone it's and everything. It's affected everything. Well. Although gaming has been like really doing well sales-wise, the gaming industry, because obviously a lot of people are at home, so they want to... They need to be entertained, so... Well, yeah. And we've got a returnal background on our state of play. Uh. <laughs> I doubt they'll show any returnal. That's done. We're, we're getting that We're tonight. getting that tonight. That's out tonight, so... Welcome to an all-new state of play. We've got more than 15 minutes of new Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart PS5 gameplay coming right up. But 15 first, minutes of let's check in on two other that exciting games said? coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 You should say that, 15 minutes. You said 15 minutes. With... 15 minutes. Four, five, four, six, B. Landing was... Not just the Ratchet and Clank, that's how long the state of play is. Oh, okay. But I thought she said 15 minutes of Ratchet gameplay. Hi, I'm Jeff, audio producer at Unknown Worlds. Set one year after the award-winning original, Subnautica Below Zero plunges players into a frigid underwater adventure in search of answers. Here, the native wildlife above and below the surface might consider you a tasty treat, assuming you don't become an ice pop first. The previous research crew has vanished, including your sister. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. To uncover the truth, you'll need to get crafty, building tools and shelter for your survival. But even that may not be enough. Like another in the title, like this here. Stay off my land. With Come on, PS5 Sony. With the controller, every icy shot feels like it's being sent right into your hands. 
The haptic feedback system allows you to feel each adrenaline-filled chase and provides oh, wow. visual and audio cues as you use resources, encounter key game moments, or get into situations where it's probably best to run. By the time you squint to see what's ahead, it may already be too late. Fortunately, when you play Below Zero on PS5, players will get a crystal clear experience with up to 4K graphics, targeting 60 FPS when in performance mode. And if you already own a physical or digital version of the first Subnautica on PS4, you'll be able to upgrade to the PS digital Plus PS5 game. version sure at no PS additional Plus cost. Game. We hope you're as excited as we are to dive into the world of Subnautica Below Zero when it launches on PS5 and PS4 on May 14th. What is this? Oh, this is, um... Oh, what's that game called again? I haven't played this game, but... Look, that's, um... Ratchet and Clank! Among Us, that was it. So they're bringing Ratchet and Clank into Among Us. Oh. We can't wait to dive deep into Subnautica Below Zero and make baseless accusations against our crewmates in Among Us later this year. Looks like Ratchet and the gang are ready for the spotlight. Next up, Insomniac Games will lead us on a tour this. This of this. I'm so excited for this. This is coming out June, the same time as Integrate, the day after Integrate. Something like it's the Inter Intermission, yeah, it's the day after, or something like that. I thought it was the 30th of June. Why have I got the 30th of June? I thought it was 11th of June. I have to double check. Mm, that sounds at the end. They're probably reminded of yeah. It looks really good though. This looks like it takes advantage of the tech inside the PS5. I should hope so. Finally. This is a big exclusive. Hello, like. Multi-platform games are good, so everyone can play them. Mm. Exclusive titles are tailor-made for the hardware, so that's why I like to have exclusive titles for, for a console. I'm Marcus you know, Smith, creative director of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, mm. a brand new full-length Ratchet and Clank adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5 exactly. console. Built for the ground up. Today mm -hmm. we're going to introduce you to some of the gameplay, characters, and arsenal of Rift Apart. Whether you've played every game since Ratchet & Clank's debut, or you're brand new to the series, Rift Apart is a standalone adventure that you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. This game is going to be on point. God. Insomniac games never miss. Wombacks? They made Spider-Man. What is this place? Oh, okay. I just played the games. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Clank? Play. Maybe someone around here has seen him. Have any of you seen a little grey robot anywhere? Uh, green eyes? I got it some pre order as well. Very charming. Oh, very good. We'll be doing a playthrough of this for sure. Definitely. I love the last fraction. Ratchet you like playing new games from his best and friend old school retro Clank, games. As and is well. now in a new dimension and a You'll mysterious a urban sprawl called Nefarious. You see a mixture of gameplay from us, guys. Detail, you see his yeah, little it's, hairs it's, on his, it's on his so ears. Good. It's like Please, we're at Pixar you. movie quality. Yes. Ratchet quickly finds out that in this dimension, Dr. Nefarious is a much more capable villain. Welcome to the Nefarious City yeah, There's practically Please zero loading time. Emperor? Does that mean. There are two Nefariouses now? Oh god, no. Clank first, Nefarious later. Maybe he's in this bazaar. Thanks to the new hardware, the worlds in Rift Apart are more beautiful than ever. Cities are full of life with traffic and civilians milling about everywhere. Rift Apart is full of the unexpected. Characters in this new dimension are not always the same as they were in Ratchet and Clank's dimension. 
Ratchet comes across Miss Zircon, the weapon you know, vendor in Rift. Like a little cyberpunk vibe from this area. Wait a second. Mm. You forgot your order. Futuristic. Well, come right in. Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous, or the resistance will not last. The resistance? Apologies, sugar. Miss Zircon is still new to all of this espionage. Release the hostage. Clank has been taken by a mysterious new Lombax. Clank is so cute. Clank! <laughs> That ship. How can I get off planet? It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. Yeah. Oh. Phantom can help. Just follow the beat to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Club Nefarious shouldn't be hard to miss. Better look around. Look how much is going on in the background. So much going on. And the, the environments look like they're a lot bigger. Though. It's, like not blocked. it's not linear, you've got, you've got options of different yeah, areas to go. Yeah, Sounds like a club, all right. You're more in the game. It's more kind of sandboxy, open worldish. Open worldish. <laughs> Look at the nightclub. Phantom, where are you? Stop. Once Ratchet <laughs> finds Phantom, he learns a couple of new moves. Wall jump, wall ride, wall jump. Mm. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Eh? That's a different kind of move. One of the focal points of gameplay in Rift Apart is increased mobility. Ratchet can now dash and wall run to traverse levels. Oh, this cool. focus on mobility allows players to chain moves together to create exhilarating combos. Yes. Now let's jump into combat. Nefarious day spa. I just hope they keep the shooting aspects. You know, they get like different weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Began to blimp and give this city a message it'll never forget. Looks easy enough. Shame is, it doesn't look 60 frames. Dashing allows Hopefully you to evade attacks or gain strategic advantages. Mm. 60 frames makes everything. You can't hit what doesn't momentarily exist. But knowing Insomniac, they'll, they'll push all the effects and the graphics. Dimensional so tears in the world allow you to use the Rift yeah. Tether. Another new traversal mechanic. That's Instantly the, pull yourself across that gets me every time, you know, you teleport in between dimensions. You see what happens just now. Weapons yeah. in Rift Apart utilize the power pool. of the dual sense okay. wireless oh, controllers, okay. adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback to allow players to really feel the power of their arsenal. For example, with the burst pistol, players can pull back the trigger partway to peck out accurately placed single shots. But really? pulling the trigger fully unleashes a rapid fire spread that oh, covers nice. more areas. Oh my god, that's nice. exciting! In either case, players will feel each shot burst from the weapon and connect with him. It's yes. taking the shoot into another level by the looks of it. With the enforcer, players can pull the trigger down halfway to fire a single barrel, reducing time between reloads. Or pull the trigger fully and unleash both barrels with a devastating close range attack. Thanks yes. to the haptics, the player will feel the power of their shots through their hands. So quick. Brilliant. Let's move ahead a little bit. 
As Ratchet attempts to follow Rivet and Clank, he encounters a nefarious juggernaut. Yeah. That's a good thing about Ratchet and Clank, the, the bosses are always pretty good. During this fight, more dimensional chaos ensues. Thanks to the power of the SSD, we can near instantly teleport oh, players to completely different locations. Did you see this that? This isn't some small arena being loaded, but the entire level from a different planet. That's a new level, it's being loaded on the fly. No loading time at all. Yeah, it was just that instant, was wasn't it? Straight in. Let's jump over and see what's that's going it. I'm on. I'm sure that's even better than the previous video. They've improved it. As you may have guessed, Rivet is a brand new playable character in the series. Where are you taking me? I was gonna take the you environment. to the environment. Really nice. First, I gotta rescue my friends at their gelatonium factory. It's a female ratchet. Mm. So you're playing two characters, three characters. In a different dimension. Why is it in a different dimension? Rift includes several alternate dimension versions of classic planets from past games. This, the game's going to be so varied in terms of like environment. Mm. You're going to get a lot of variety. Did we mention how stunning and alive our worlds are? Thanks to the power of the PS5 and the 3D audio, we've been able to create alien planets with an immersive density like never before. Brilliant. Let's check it out. Speedles, yeah. That's why I'm gonna ride one. Soon as I can get close enough. Back to Ms. Zircon, the weapons vendor. Whoa. This oh. wasn't what was in my account last Upgrade. time. Oh, that Looks was different. because I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. I'm so glad they haven't okay. neglected the um In Rift Apart, system, you get to play with an explosive it. new arsenal, as well as a few returning classics. This looks so good. What do you think? It does. It looks, it looks really, really good. I'm so impressed. Here's another example of how we're using the dual sense. With the topiary sprinkler, players will feel resistance in the trigger as they prepare a throw of this garden grenade. Once on the ground and spitting out its rapid growth plant fertilizer, players will also feel when enemies have been topiaried and are ready to be trimmed down. <laughs> Like, this is a, a proper video game, you know what I mean? It is. A proper video game, Some though. Dimensional distortion is emanating from that you don't sit there watching a cinematic movie sequence. I, although those games are good, but it's nice to just play a proper game sometimes. Mm. Just In addition to rift shattering and dimensional shifts, there are also many pocket dimensions scattered throughout the game. Oh. And the last speedle runs into that rift thingy. Interesting. You must have a rift tether in your glove, too. Oh, cool. All right, smarty bot. What is this place? I, um, a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> the colors. Mm, really so nice. vibrant. It's yeah. The Mortz's helper bot. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the speedle. Hitting its nest might get its attention. Well, hello there. Oh, dear. <laughs> Maybe Maynard can lead me to the woods. I would love it. She will. Not as much as me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not as much as Mario. My daughter loves Nintendo stuff. Um, That's your fault. I'm sure she. <laughs> there's a lot of good Switch games. Um, but she definitely loves it. We can get away from this acid. Come 
much fun. The Look how he's just flying, flying on this. It's amazing. Swamps, and to do so quickly. Excuse me. Look out. I got it. I got it. See? Sometimes I don't crash. Stop. 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 There's the gelatonium factory. I'm coming, Mortz. We didn't follow that Lombax and his robo-pet across dimensions just to get stopped by Luke some T, the graphic T. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on there now. If you watched our previous gameplay demo, you may recognize the goons for less. This rebranded gang has been hired by Dr. Nefarious to attack Ratchet and Clank and are now also trapped in Rivet's dimension. <laughs> Here's another new weapon. The Shatter Bomb is a frag type grenade that deals a lot of damage to your foes. With haptic feedback, each explosion feels incredibly wow. impactful. You're gonna love the, the feedback of the uh, controller. Yeah. Mm. It's not just a rumble. Perhaps they were sucked through the, the little dogs. <laughs> Like the menu system. Yeah, it looks it's, really quick it's and easy. It's pretty much the same, it's just bigger. What, the same as the uh, PS4? Yeah. It looks like they've made it a lot uh, easier this to use. This is just a small taste yeah. of some of the early games. You gotta be rapid. You gotta be rapid when you change so weapons. We have open areas to explore. Oh, wow. This game looks way Dimensional bigger. Clank the levels look bigger. The game Glitch is challenges. Itself. Arena challenges. Aerial combat. Gold bolts to collect. Pocket dimensions to explore. <laughs> Armor to obtain and use in the first ever Ratchet and Clank photo mode. Yes! And giving more people access to playing our games is always important to us. Wait, what's all this such, stuff? They're going Rift too fast. What's going on? A slew of accessibility options. Okay. We'll reveal more about options. this soon. Experience Rift Apart's new planets, weapons, intense high action combat, and near instant load times, all with some of the best visuals we've ever created. Definite. Purchase. I agree already. 100% definite purchase. Definitely. Definitely. This is quality. This game is really good. On behalf of all of us at Insomniac Games, know thank you for watching. We'll see you in the Omniverse on June 11th. Oh, it's June 11th, you're right! Yeah, the 11th. We yeah, the depths yeah, that's of an alien thought. ocean, got a first look at Among Us on PlayStation, and zipped across space and time in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I'm hoping there's something big Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Are you serious? Is that it? What, so basically this was, Wait, all, this was all basically for Ratchet and Clank. What a wonderful surprise! What do you want, Nefarious? Which is fine, but I wanted a, a new kind of reveal. <laughs> Clank? Where am I? There must be something at the end. They normally This slip is in. it. They normally slip in a little something. Let's go for a ride. This is it. You know, at this state of play events, you, you can never get too hyped up. You can never get too hyped up. Emperor Nefarious, you have returned. They shocked us last time in Final Fantasy DLC. Yeah, I mean, there's been a few, but... but other than that... I was expecting God of War. I was, expe I was expecting God of War. Not yet. It's not ready yet. I got to admit, I was. And that Lombax. I'm coming, Clank. This is gonna be a good title, a good game, the PS5. Um, I think it'll it'll hit off. Like you said earlier, there's not much games out there. Yeah, it's dry. So I it's, think it's really this, dry at the moment. This will. Returnal. Uh, Final Fantasy Intermission. The, 
DLC, Ratchet and Clank, they're, they're, they're out at the right time. There isn't really much else yeah. going on at the moment. And these are just PS5 exclusives, so... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Is that it? No way. No way. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll just sit around for a couple of hours and no. wait for Returnal. <laughs> yeah, Returnal is out shortly and uh, we'll be uploading our gameplay for that, definitely. So uh, we'll catch you in our next video, which will be Returnal, part one. See you in the next one, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, we're a small channel, but we're we're here for, for the long run. So um, stay tuned. <laughs>